All right, so we're checking out the only game where the best way to become president is to impregnate the wife of your opponent. It's episode. More political impregnation, damn it. Apparently, this episode is about being elected as president by being a dick. What is your first name? I feel like the Florida man lineage must continue onward. Since we're going for president, though, I want something more advertiser friendly. Our name is Florida McMahon. He's like a normal Florida man, but much more unhealthy. I get a surname. I know a surname is just like a family name, but every time I see the the word surname, I think it should be something amazing. Like if you're running for monarch of Floridia or something like that, your name is Stabathor the Ball Smasher. Actually, screw that. I'm not doing like a last name. I want something cool. Our name is Destroyer of Bud Light. How long does this go? <laughs> oh no. If it if it doesn't allow me to have this entire surname, I'm gonna feel so bad. God damn it, I can only choose 64 characters. Each of these characters is like a child to me. How could I give any one of them up? It looks like you entered inappropriate content. Inappropriate on episode. Was it the Bud Light or the sperm? Here. How about that? Okay, I have something to tell you all. From now on, sperm is going to be pronounced bacon. Florida man is finally running for president after many years of disappointing his entire family, so his hair is running away. All right, Florida man, let's make some stupid ass laws. Congratulations, Florida McMahon. You're running for office. Wondering what party you're representing? Who cares? It already feels like a totally accurate political simulation. You have a great team of individuals to get you there. Why do I feel like my great team is going to be a bunch of hot women with bad decision-making skills. Let's meet them. Hey, what is this? It's a guy and he has better hair than I do. How did you get here? He's probably like, ah, oh, this isn't PUBG. Chain smoker and your political advisor. Actually, him and Florida McMahon seem to have a lot in common. I feel like Florida McMahon would be like, there's no smoking cigarettes inside the office. And this dude would be like, jokes on you, these aren't cigarettes. Oh hell, we got a young Denzel on our team. We can't lose. I love how his descriptor is tech weenie. <laughs> Maybe that's where I went wrong with the word sperm. That episode wouldn't take it. I should have called it like weenie porridge or something. We're here today to talk strategy. Oh, Christ. Thank you all for coming. Yeah, sit down, get comfortable, pour yourself a Bud Light, because we're about to come up with some bad ideas. There's a lot of ways we can start your campaign. It's episode, so I feel like most of the options here are going to involve nudity somehow. First, we must make your announcement so that people know you're running. What do you suggest we do? I was thinking a press release. Anytime you see something that sounds somewhat normal, that's always the wrong choice. You could reach more people by posting on social media, okay. Or you could just Shout it from the rooftops. Are we shouting it with or without clothes? Everyone in the city would be able to hear you. If we're in Florida, a guy screaming from a rooftop isn't that abnormal. It's like the chirping of birds. You know all these ideas are below par. But this is all part of the process. Oh, I see, you have to warm yourself up to the impregnations. Florida McMahon spends a lot of time online. It's like his second skin. Gonna run for president. Florida McMahon, destroyer of Bud Light, wielder of the bacon of consequence. Please vote for me. I don't ask for too much in my videos, but I'm gonna ask that somehow this please become a real hashtag. First, yes. Oh God, I'm having YouTube flashbacks. There's actually a person here called Florida Man Crying. This is why I had to be called Florida McMahon. This bastard took my handle already. Florida Man Spanx. This was a character I made. We've made our way into episode. I'm so happy. Florida Man kiss the furly at my phone. They're all here. I wanted to let y'all know how hard of a worker Florida McMahon is. Notice he made this post by himself. He didn't even have one of his cronies do it. I had to do this with one eye too. Four comments already. They're all hate mail. It looks like it, your announcement has given you an advantage. Yeah, they're like, you're up 40 points in Florida. Oh, you're five points ahead. Yeah, we really are. If you can keep this up, you're on your way to the Oval Office. I can't wait. My team needs to be like, what do you want to spend your campaign money on? And the answer is more goddamn plants. This room only has two plants in it. Any more ideas to get my name out there in the public eye? I was thinking we could set up some lawn signs. Your name would be everywhere. Another outdated suggestion from a residential dinosaur. I was thinking we could sell some merchandise with your name on it. I'm gonna tell you right now, if someone out there has already copyrighted the word Florida man, you have no soul. Branded shirts and hats, or you can have some cheerleaders give you a shout out during a halftime performance. Now we're talking. Oh, they look legitimate. They're not really dancing in sync. Oh, never mind. Now they are. Stronger than steel. What is my bacon? Hotter than the sun. We 
swear he's not corrupt. So vote Florida McMahon, destroyer of Bud Light, wheeler of the bacon of consequence number one. <laughs> this is the longest cheer a cheerleader has ever had to do. It's in fact so big that it blots out all of their faces. This poor girl over here is like, I'm so pale because your damn name keeps shielding me from the sun. They seem very hyped about it. You know what? I think that was money well- Oh, this crowd. What is this girl? She's so pissed off. So that was it. Way to sound ungrateful. You just got a standing ovation. They didn't even mention my policies. What are our policies? We haven't even talked about that. The only thing that we've done is come up with a fantastic hashtag and pay off some cheerleaders. Well, the polls are in. You're up 20 points. <laughs> what? Good job. How is this possible? They didn't even spell my name. To be fair, they probably looked at his name and were like, nope. hell no. One girl would be like, what is the bacon for? People really believe in cheerleaders. Sports fans around the country are in full support of you becoming president. Unfortunately, nerds and bookworms around the country are not as keen. They're calling you a meathead online. I mean, they're not wrong. The word bacon is literally in my surname. How can we fix this? Why would you want to? And is this plant in the background? getting limper? These are the real questions I'm asking. We need to get someone famous to publicly endorse you. Someone who can give you clout points. I'd recommend Richard Atwood. Who? You need young blood. Someone like Diamond Dallas. Or like the wrestler? She's a social media influencer. Isn't she a porn star? Of course she is, Julie. I'm surprised it took this long. You say tomato, I say tomato. I think you should get this famous dog to support you. Hear me out. Her name is Fluffy and she sits in this little bag for pictures all day. Everyone loves the dog. And I mean everyone. A dog can't possibly support Florida McMahon. Listen, Julie, if we could get an alligator, I would get one of those instead. The budget's limited here. That and I don't want to go to jail again. He needs someone with a voice. I like how a porn star is okay, but a dog is too much. No, he doesn't. What he needs is a woman with an hourglass-shaped figure. I'm not gonna lie, it's really tough. <laughs> Choosing between the porn star and Fluffy the dog. Uh, maybe I'll choose the porn star next time. I love dogs though. It's the dog. If I want to win, I need that little rascal to endorse me. Plus everyone in Texas will love us. Dogs love bacon too. It's a match made in heaven. Let's do this. Make sure the dog is there to support me at the debate. Hello? Or a um, wolf. This is what I pay Andrew the big bucks for. It's time for your debate. Please tell me the dog is here. Here you are preparing yourself backstage when all of a sudden, where's the dog? Florida McMahon, meet. Oh God, it's adorable. What the hell, it zoomed in a part of the screen where the dog is. This is actually Fluffy's astral projection over here. She, she's dead already. She lives with us in spirit. Finally. What took you so long? Well, everyone wanted to take a picture with Fluffy. It gave you a boost in the ranks when they found out that Fluffy was there to support you. I love how making the worst choices in episode is always the right thing to do. Really? You're up 17 points. Please welcome to the stage your candidates running for president. Florida McMahon. That's right, everyone. Put your hands together. How do you want to greet the audience? Big wave, blow a kiss, or wink? Why not? I've always kind of wondered who my opponent would be. Holy sh- it's Burt Reynolds! Finally, you come face to face with your opponent. How can we possibly win? He seems harmless, right? How do you want to greet him? Big wave blow kiss. I want to show him that I treat everyone fairly. This dude's like, what the fuck? The first question is for you. You're gonna regret that. What will your first act as president be? I'd like to get rid of jail so I can stop going there. I'll give everyone free health care. I'll make all recreational drugs illegal. I'll throw a party and get wasted. I mean, I gotta stay true to the Florida man name. I'll probably throw a party and get wasted. It's a big deal, you know. The public loves an honest candidate, of course they do. Do you wish to respond? Actually, I fully support his plans. That's not really how this is supposed to work. The next question is for Burt Reynolds. How will you create more jobs? I'll give every small business extra money so they can afford to employ more people. See, this sounds like a legitimate thing, which means it's a terrible option. Do you wish to respond? Oh, I sure do. Disagree, insult, no comment. I think you know where we're going. I'm trying to see this from your perspective, but I just can't get my head that far up my ass. The public thinks you're witty. What are your views on climate change? It's the biggest problem we're facing today. Is climate change the same as global warming? Save the turtles. I don't really know what the turtles do besides take all my beach space up, but they're cute. So go ahead and save them. Well, we are really getting into this. As president, I will be banning the use of all plastic straws, which should happen anyway, because if you're drinking your Bud Light with a straw you're an uncultured heathen turtles are people too we need to take care of their homes the public loves that you love turtles what 
How do you wish to respond? Climate change is bullshit anyway. How do you plan to reduce crime? I plan to collect data from everyone's social media accounts. Then I can track what everyone is doing at all times. I should have known. James is just Google Translate. It just skinned Burt Reynolds and now it's wearing him. I won't tolerate any illegal activity in my country. Well, then I'm screwed. Do you wish to respond? Yeah, I do. Might as well keep the insults flowing. Sometimes it's better to keep your mouth shut and give the impression that you're stupid rather than open it and prove that you truly are. This sounds something way too smart for Florida McMahon. Did we take this from Rockefeller or something? Everyone loves a clever comeback. What's your stance on gun violence? I love it. How is this one of the options? I have to pick it. The public respects your honesty. I got three points for that. What's one major change you would make once you're elected? I'll lower the minimum working age to eight years old. Damn it, James got to it before me. Those little sh could be out earning a place in society. That's right, if you're old enough to spell, you're old enough to work in the mines. Do you wish to respond? Disagree insult no comment i just want to pick something different but what does the disagree mean eight years old there is no way in hell that florida mcmahon can have a problem with this why not five? Oh, episode you went exactly where i thought you would go why draw the line at all i don't think it's fair to exclude infants that's right fetuses you want to eat, you better start making your own way. Not sure if you meant it, but the public thinks you're being sarcastic. How will you grow the economy? Cut taxes, increase taxes, phone a friend. What friend am I phoning? Can I phone a friend? No, I guess I'll pass then. You can't do that either. Well, sh how am I supposed to answer this? Then I guess I'll have to admit I don't know. The public is blown away by your vulnerability. I love that it's not your stupidity, it's your vulnerability. How can I compete with that? I think I might even vote for Florida McMahon. See, I think we won when we wanted to lower the working age down to infant level. Google Translate was like, does not compute. Do you have any final words? You're goddamn right I do. I make no promises. If you must waste your vote, waste it on me to freedom. They call me the William Wallace of Florida. Freedom. <laughs> Whether this makes sense or not doesn't matter because everyone loves their freedom. <laughs> How are the polls looking? You're still in the lead. I knew I would be. How can we further my lead? I do have one idea. I'm listening. Everyone knows to be president, you have to have at least one sex scandal. I was about to say, this is episode and we haven't had sex with one person yet. What are you suggesting? What if you skipped the press conference to hook up with someone in the storage closet? That's a great idea. God, it's like I'm watching a real life presidential documentary. I guess I'll sleep with my wife, Julie the campaign manager, my opponent's wife. Get Mrs. Reynolds in here, my opponent's wife. Leanne, I didn't realize you're on a first name basis. I'm just glad he actually has a wife. Why her? For the scandal. What if she's happily married? She's a married politician, so she's definitely not happily married. Damn. I'm going to get us some drinks, love. Oh, Leanne was a good choice. Hi, Leanne. I was wondering if finally, wait, what? I've been waiting all night for you to tell me that you want me. Wait a second, is your husband trying to do the scandal thing too? We came up with that first. You have? We can't waste any more time. Jesus, maybe she should have run for president. What is this angry crowd? It's like we're in a rave concert. Where is Florida McMahon? Huh, he's hooking up with James Stevenson's wife in the storage closet. She's like, oh God. Oh yeah, there it is. It's what you, oh, we're on TV. You just tuned in. That was footage of Florida McMahon hooking up with his opponent's wife. Damn, I look good. Florida McMahon is up 21 points. What? What the hell even she doesn't understand? Everyone thinks you're a boss. There's nothing quite like taking your competition's wife to prove you have game. Am I married? I wish my wife could see it that way. Oh God, yeah. The following week. This is your last chance to influence the voters before election day. You could go door to door. You could go door to door. I like how one is just with your charisma and one's with bribery. Forget that. You should start a smear campaign. That's always entertaining. Okay, we're gonna use Julie's boob over here, which is kind of pointing in between go to door to door and go door to door and bribe voters. I love how this is just barely in this shot. We're gonna bribe people. I'm gonna bribe some desperate citizens to Florida. You spend the afternoon going door to door. I hope we don't get shot. What's it gonna take to get your vote? Oh, I think I know what it's gonna take. Hmm. 
My husband won't be home for a few more hours. Welcome to episode. Offer her food, offer her money, offer her your body. It's a president's job to take one for the team. Here we go. Can I offer you a good time? Come on in. Florida McMahon gained a point. What's in it for me? Offer her food, money, or... <laughs> Let me ask you something, ma'am. Do you like bacon? Can I interest you in a piece of this? She just vomited. No, I lost a point. What is this? So in exchange for your vote, oh God, no. There's no way I can't not pick this every single time. I'm married and I have four children. I can't believe you would tempt me just for a vote. You're in the wrong place then, good sir. I think the thing I love most about this is the outfit. When it's a plaid vest, this hat, like a high waters and socks that go up to his knees. After a long day of bribery, great work. Tomorrow we'll be finding out whether you've done enough to secure your spot as president. All right, the moment of truth. Have you done enough to become president? Thanks for joining us tonight. The results are in and... Yes! See, having sex with everyone was the answer. This girl's so pumped about it. Well, everyone, hope you enjoy your new life of starting work when you're an infant. Hope you enjoyed this episode of episodes. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.